Hi there, welcome to my LPSC talk. My name is Chen Yuan. I'm a PhD candidate in Arizona State University. Today, my topic is about giant impact origin for the large low share velocity provinces. First, I want to thank my advisors, Ming Ming Li, Steve Dash, and my co-authors, BK. We also appreciate the help and discussions with many CC colleagues. The moon is the largest and brightest object at night. Our ancestors have been trying to figure out the origin for the moon for hundreds and hundreds of years. Right now, the leading hypothesis for the formation of the moon is by giant impact. When a planetary imbro named Thea, at least about one size of Mars, collected with the proto-Earth, and the moon was formed by the debris of, the, of this giant impact. But so far, we don't have any evidence to support the existence of the hypothetical planet Thea. And also, if we simply compare the size of the moon to the Thea, we can see the Thea is much larger than the moon. Recent studies show the Thea could like be four times of Mars. So in that case, there are more missing materials of the Thea that we don't know where are they right now. So the question is, where is the missing impacted Thea? The first time I know these questions, I immediately have this kind of crazy hypothesis that the Thea mantle could turn into large low shear velocity provinces above the core mantle boundary layers in the Earth. In this study, we are going to provide four evidence to support our hypothesis. First, we are going to show the LSVPs have comparable size to the Thea's mantle. Then we are going to show that LSVPs is possibly older than the moon formation because the Thea's mantle already existed, so it's reasonable that LSP is older than the moon, if our hypothesis is right. And then we are going to show the density of the Thea's mantle through giant impact models and lunar geochemistry. And in the end, we are going to use mantle convection models to see how the Thea's mantle could sink down to the CMB and forming LSVP-like structures. The two large low shear velocity provinces, one is beneath the African continent and one is below the Pacific Ocean. The seismic constraint, their volume or mass is about 2% to 6% of the current Earth's mass. So we can see it's clearly larger than the total mass of the Moon. And also, it can be seen that the LSP mass is comparable to the Thea's mantle, depending on whether it's one size of Mars or four times of Mars. So the main message at this slide is that the LSPs are large and that they have comparable size to the Thea's mantle. And then we are going to ask, how old is LSPs? Because LSPs are in the deepest part of the mantle, we don't have any direct samples from it. But fortunately, it has been shown that LSPs may control the eruption sites of the large igneous provinces and ocean island basalt and also kimberlite eruptions for at least the past 250 million years. So by studying this kind of plume rocks, we can infer the age of LSVPs. So in 2012, Professor Mukopadiai studied a near isotope of Icelandic plume rocks. They found that these OIB rocks have a very different and less degassed noble gas compared to the middle ocean rich basalt. This was also confirmed by their following up studies for other noble isotope elements. 
So based on this evidence, this suggests that the LSPs could be older than the age of the moon. So this is also consistent with our hypothesis. And then we are going to show the Theas mantle density. In 2014, Meyer published a paper. They studied the FEO content of the Theas mantle using different kinds of giant impact models and also considered the lunar geochemistry. So they showed that the Theas mantle need to be 13%, 11% to 40%. And this is clearly higher than the proto-Earth or the Earth's mantle. Because FEO is the most dentist element, major element for the silicon rocks. So it means the Theas mantle is likely denser. So physically, it's possible the Theas mantle sink down to the CMB. So our co-authors further constrain the TFU content need to be 13 to 18 weight percent in order to reconcile with the lunar uh, hydrogen isotope recently measured uh, from the lunar mantle rocks. So using this condition, and we fix the MGO and silicon ratio to one, we use thermodynamic dynamic software perplex to compare the Thea mantle with the box silicate earth. Here we show the result for three cases. Their FEO content is gradually increased, but is within this range. So it showed that the Thea's mantle is about 2% to about 3.5 denser than the box silicate earth. So the message here is that the Theas mantle is slightly denser than the background mantle. After showing these three evidence, I think you would agree with me that this crazy idea is kind of possible. Yeah, from now on, we are going to focus on this process. After the Theas mantle entered the Earth, it, it will be controlled by mantle convections. So we are going to use mantle convection models to study how the Thea mantle materials could sink down and form LSP-like structures after 4.5 billion years. We will constrain the required density of the Thea mantle materials and compare with this density from the giant impact models and lunar geochemistry. After the giant impact, the initial Thea mantle distribution is still debated, but a very recent study showed that the, the impactor's mantle could enter the upper part of the target mantle and form a global layer. Using this geometry, we de develop one model, one kind of model. Here, the Thea mantle is continuously 100% global layer. But we also think the Thea's mantle was also likely mixed. So that's why we have another kind of model. Here, the Thea mantle materials is 50% mixed with the Earth's mantle. From now on, we'll use these two kind of models to study the dynamics of the Thea mantle materials. Here, we define a successful, successful model in which the Thea mantle materials could sink down to the CMB and could be preserved uh, with about 3 to 15 percent of the Earth's mantle. This volume is consistent with the seismic image of the LSP volumes. So as we can see in the process, the code subduction will keep pushing the Thea mantle materials and there is entrainment of the Thea mantle materials into the background mantle. And in the end, about 4.5 billion years, it can form RSVP-like structures in the Earth's mantle. Here, the initial thickness is about 350 kilometers. The buoyancy is about 1.5 denser than the background mantle. By changing these two parameters, we did like 100 mantle convection models. 
The left side showed the global layered models. The right side showed the random sphere models. So each sign represents a, a geodynamic model. The pink color, color uh, showed that there are much less theoretical materials about the CMB after 4.5 billion years. For the red one, there are too much materials of the theoretical about the CMB. So only the green cases can have the LSP-like structures after 4.5 4 billion years. So here we can see the random sphere model required a higher density anomaly and also more volume of the theoretical materials. But if we overlap the result together, we can see these green cases. The required density anomaly of the TR mantle is about 1.5 denser to 3.5 denser than the background mantle. So if you still remember the previous slide of the density of the TS mantle, this was constrained by the lunar geochemistry and the giant impact models. The density anomaly is also about 2 point denser to 3.5 denser than the Earth's mantle. So these two results are very consistent with each other. So in the end, our conclusion is that we propose that the LSPs may represent the TS mantle. After the giant impact models, the debris formed the moon very quickly, but at the same time, the impacted TS mantle entered the Earth and sank down to the CMB and was shaped into large low shear velocity provinces after 4.5 billion years. So it showed that the moon and the LSVPs could be a twin product of the giant impact models. And it may also imply other similar mental heterogeneities in other planets. So please feel free to connect me if you have any questions. And also I'm looking for a postdoc position. Please don't hesitate to connect me if you have any opportunities. Thank you.